In the past 90 minutes, we sat down with former Democratic gubernatorial candidate Stacey Abrams about a state ethics investigation into her campaign. It's what happens when people aren't willing to cooperate, when parties aren't willing to work together. We've not been asked to work together. We've not been asked for any information. Channel 2's Richard Elliott with us live in Decatur on this. And Richard, Stacey Abrams also talked to you about the heartbeat abortion bill. And we got a chance to sit down with Stacey Abrams here in Decatur about 1 o'clock this afternoon. Nothing was off the table. And as you said, we asked her about that announced Ethics Commission subpoena for campaign records. She said the commission doesn't need one. She will fully cooperate with any potential investigation. This was a political stunt. It's not something that I've seen anyone do of either party. Former Democratic gubernatorial candidate Stacey Abrams says her campaign did nothing wrong and she will gladly cooperate with any investigation by the new state ethics commissioner. We sat down with Abrams Tuesday afternoon to talk about a wide variety of subjects. New ethics director David Amati announced he would subpoena bank records surrounding her gubernatorial campaign and other groups that supported her run. Abrams told me she still hasn't seen any subpoena and that she would cooperate without one. She blamed the governor's office for using the ethics office to attack a political opponent. If there's information they want, we are open to receiving that request and complying with it. A subpoena isn't necessary, and to be clear, no subpoena has been issued. Abrams also talked about the recent passage of the controversial heartbeat bill, the bill that would essentially ban abortions after six weeks of pregnancy. Governor Kemp has said he will sign it into law. Abrams believes it will only hurt Georgia in the long run. It is being used as a political weapon against women, and I think it's bad not only for the people of Georgia, for the women of Georgia, it's bad for business in Georgia. So what about a potential run for political office? Uh, odds are experts seem to think she will run for Senate, though she has not announced yet at 6 what her potential opponent, Senator David Perdue, has to say about that. We are live in Decatur, Richard Elliott, Channel 2 Action News. Richard, thank you.